Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while, but I am back from my break. So although I was on a break from filming, editing, that sort of thing, I was not on a break from buying nail supplies. <laughs> I know, shocker. So today we're going to dig into all of the nail supplies that I bought from AliExpress that are Valentine's Day themed or just kind of cute. So believe it or not, I've actually had my current nails on for a month now. And let me just tell you, when you see them, I know you guys are going to be scared because they have been through a lot this past month. And they are by far more crusty and dusty than my usual natural nails that we start with. So we will have to take these off as well. I hope you guys had a good January and are ready to get into Valentine's Day nail stuff. All pink, my favorite holiday of the year, except Halloween. Maybe there's a tie there. So I'm really excited to do quite a few different nail sets this month. Um, I might extend Valentine's Day themes past the 14th, but I know a lot of you are like me and also love pink and that whole theme aesthetic, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Before we get into the unboxing, I do want to mention that today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning. Whether you have a specific skill you're wanting to learn or you're wanting to master a current skill, there are tons and tons of different classes to take on tons of different subjects. One of my main goals this year was to really perfect my setup and I am working on that. The first step of that for me was to really learn how to use my cameras. This class in particular was extremely helpful in helping me learn how to actually use my camera that I've had for many, many years now. All of the classes are broken up into chapters, which is really helpful in case you want to take the whole class or you need to jump around to a specific topic. Some other really helpful classes I took are ones on how to better manage my time. You guys know I'm always a hot mess, really scattered. These classes have really helped me to understand where my time was going and what I was doing that was impeding my ability to get certain tasks done on time. If you want to get to learning and try Skillshare out for yourself, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a one month free trial to Skillshare so that you can start exploring creativity and learn new things. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get into the haul. So here is everything that I have accumulated over this past month. So let's go through it one by one. First off, I got a bunch of stickers, but I got a lot of these angel ones. I was sort of feeling like doing a like dreamy set and I thought that these would be perfect. I do not remember what exactly these were. I think these were maybe 5XL coffin full cover tips, but uh, I got these and they look really nice. I also got some long square tips. These ones seem a little bit flatter for nail beds opposed to like really, really curved ones, which are easier for me to use. Next up, these really cute charms. I'm totally blanking on what these are actually called. Are they called sweethearts? That doesn't sound right. I also got these ones that are sort of jelly looking with glitter and also these really cool iridescent angel wings. And they look like a perfect size to where you can put this on your nail, but they're not gonna be hanging off the sides a ton. These heart charms with little smiley faces in them. More stickers. These ones almost kind of look like framed flowers. They're also textured. I don't know how well you guys would be able to see that, but they, it says it's 5D art, so cool. Not Valentine's Day, but look at how cute these cinnamon roll charms are. Sometimes they look kind of off-brand, but I think these ones actually look really good. I also got my Melody Charms and some Pom Pom Perrin ones, which have hearts, which I would say are Valentine's Day themed. Next up, I got not only one huge bag of these little like Fimo clay slices, but I got an even bigger second bag. Here's my hand for scale. What am I possibly going to use these for? I have no idea. I don't think I realized how much would come in each one, but nonetheless, I think they're really cool. I have enough here to quite literally last me the rest of my life. Something I'm really excited about is this is a heart magnet, so we can do hearts in cat's eye gel, which is super exciting. Now, even if I don't end up using this on today's set, I will still do a little test nail just so we can see. I don't particularly think I would have ordered this glitter, so I think this was like a free gift in one, so that's fine. 
some more clay slices. Granted, there's some of the same ones that are in those bags that I got, but some different ones also. Got some different hearts here and also little cupcakes. Is that cupcake? Yeah, it is. I absolutely loved these. These are clouds that kind of also look like sprinkles. These will be really great to encapsulate and they're definitely not too thick. Look at how beautiful these charms are. They are so sparkly. I love the size of them too. Big enough that they will obviously be really flashy but not big enough to get caught on everything. Some strawberries with a nice flat back. Very cute. I've seen these quite a few times on AliExpress and I finally decided to order some. They're little frames. I'm not quite sure what I would put in the frame, but I could always do like a sticker underneath or something like that so I can make it look like a painting. I just thought these could be really cool. Okay, I also got some Hello Kitty charms. Again, these ones look really good. Of course, they're not like branded, but they don't look off-brand funky, which is good. <laughs> I got this, and what's cool about this, I'll actually take it out of the package to show you. Okay, ready, see? Wait. What this is supposed to do is open. Unless there is some sort of secret that I do not know, I, for the life of me, cannot get this thing open. So, some really cute glitter. Now that I know how to encapsulate big, chunky glitter a lot better, I am excited to get more big, chunky glitter. More frames. There's always a dog hair. Although I've improved a lot around here, what will probably never improve is the amount of dog hair everywhere. I love getting big grab bags of charms like these that just have tons of different charms because I can't say that I've seen a ton of these anywhere, like listings or otherwise. There's just so many different shapes and designs in here that I just have never seen before and it's always like that whenever I get these big random like grab bag charms. More frames. And last but not least was definitely an oversight on my part because I did not realize how big these would be. This would be quite the commitment uh, to put these on your nails. I'll have to probably find something else to do with them because to me, this is just a little too big with a little too many things to get caught on things. Like, can you imagine? They're very cool. Don't get me wrong, but just can you imagine how much that would get caught on whatever? No, but I'll find a different use for them. They are very pretty nonetheless. I also got a light pink version. And that is everything that I got. So obviously I didn't get any poly gel or acrylic or anything like that. So I will definitely be using a bunch of this stuff today to do a cute Valentine's Day set. Before we can do that, we have to remove my current nails. And I'm sure you guys could see throughout the unboxing just quite how bad they are. Let's, let's just take a good look, all right? Now, normally, if I kept nails on for a month, they would not be nearly this bad. These were the original nails, obviously substantially longer. You can see way more of the design, but because I did a lot of renovation on my house this past month, I decided to chop them down to not have any chances of hurting my actual nail beds, which I don't think I necessarily succeeded in because I can see on one nail that I did lift a little bit of my real nail, which we'll have to address. And although I took a break to try to get my life together, uh. Quite a bit has happened this past week and I have been picking at them, sort of just like, you know, bending them, kind of like uh, so, and picking off pieces for about the past week. So yeah, there's actually no lifting on the nail extension part itself. Like all of these are still really, really stuck, which I was low key hoping I could just like pop them off. That's not happening. So we're gonna have to soak them off. Like I said, I think I damaged, ooh, we're gonna be able to see this nail when I was doing my renovation. I don't know what I was doing, but I could definitely tell when I caught it on something and just, you know, bent forward. And I think it lifted my real nail a little bit. So let's remove these and do a really cute Valentine's Day set. First, let's clip off any excess length. I think my nails probably actually grew a good bit underneath here. So I'm gonna try to keep that. Probably chop it off later when we do the uh, extension part. That's okay. Like, look at how long that nail is underneath. This is definitely the damaged nail, so we gotta be careful with this one. Now I'm just going to file off the top layer and a little bit of the gel itself.
And here is the reveal of my damaged nail. Now your real nail can lift like this for a couple different reasons. One being your nails are too thin, like you filed them too much. Another is health issues, things like thyroid problems and deficiencies can cause stuff like this. Another is just straight up physical damage, you know, hitting it too hard on something. And I think that this is a combination of all three. Oh, you guys know I do my nails a lot and that hence makes them a little bit thinner. I also struggle with keeping good like iron and other levels as well as I have some thyroid problems. So that definitely does not help the nail situation. Neither does uh, banging it while you're doing renovation. But this is not that bad. It is still attached on this side. We have this. We'll have to cut all of this out essentially. And I think there's a dog hair underneath there. Can you see that? Ooh, oops. Now that we have the good amount of gel off, I am going to soak the rest off in acetone. You want pure acetone. Sometimes people will tell me like, oh, my nails don't soak off in acetone. It should because it's just gel. And then they look and it's like regular nail polish remover. So if that's happening to you, that might be your problem. Because my nails and fingers and my whole hands are a mess. Look at that, I burnt myself with the iron, like quite literally like a clothes iron approximately three minutes before I started filming because I ironed my backgrounds. I'm gonna put a little bit of Vaseline around my cuticles just to try to help with that. My hands really took a beating during all of the renovation from washing them a thousand times to getting little nicks here and there. A little bit of Vaseline never hurt anyone. I have discovered recently a uh, new love for Vaseline. It is the only thing that stops my eyelids from immensely drying out. This won't stop all the dryness, of course, but it can't hurt. So now I'm just going to soak those in there for a while. Because this is a pretty thin layer of gel, 10 to 15 minutes to just make sure we can get it off pretty much all in one go. While I do that, I will be drinking one of the new Alani new flavors. This is the berry pop one and it's like, tastes like a strawberry creamsicle, but it is so sweet. Like it, like the aftertaste almost gets sweeter. It's kind of strange. It is too sweet to be honest. So I'm just gonna sip. I've been sipping on it for like an hour already. Anyway, I'll see y'all in a minute. 15-ish minutes later and here we are. Just scrape anything off that needs to come off. I try to do it fairly quickly so that the gel doesn't dry back out and harden up again. Here they are, they look so bad. So let's um, get them looking a little bit more presentable and ready for a new set. Before we do anything else, we need to clip these nails, so. Y'all know it's not fair. My mom has beautiful, natural, long nails. Like she's always kept them like at least, maybe not long in my terms, but for natural nails, pretty long. And they're always pretty strong and she can just grow them so easily. And I don't know why I was not given that. I want a refund. And then as far as this one goes, gonna be very careful and slowly what we'll cut what we can off. Oof. Now for my cuticles, I'm gonna use this Bye Bye Cuticle Cream to soften them. As far as a cuticle pusher, I like ones like this that are a little bit softer at the edges. This one is a bit more sharp and what I like to use to scrape off my gel. But this one is thicker, more rounded, and I just feel like a lot safer for the cuticles. We will finish up our nails by doing a little bit of cuticle cleaning. I just have this on three and this is just to get any last little bit. And finally, I'm gonna use this to sort of smooth everything out. Alas, it is finally time to do some actual nails. So after I prepped my nails, I did a set with these, the clay pieces on the inside and they just don't seem like they're gonna fit or look super good. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I love the clay pieces, but I don't love how they look on the inside. I think these are gonna be a lot better for encapsulating in acrylic. I still can't quite decide what I wanna do with my nails, so I figured that we would do a little test of this magnet. I'm just going to put a pink underneath. I feel like that'll be a good, you know, little base color. 
So I'm going to be using the holographic cat's eye gel from Vetsy. I got tagged in this a ton, a ton, a ton. Here is what it looks like. It was much thicker than I thought it would be. There we go. Let's just, I don't wanna to touch it. Cute, not quite. Let's see, I'm gonna do it this way. It has like a little notch here so you can sort of go down. I'm still trying to not like touch any gel even though I just did. So that is basically how that looks. For some reason, I thought it would be more of a outline of a heart rather than like a whole heart, if that makes sense. Like I thought that, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. It's not quite as nice as I was expecting. While we're at it, I'm gonna just see how these look on a nail. Let's do this little iridescent one. So I know I've seen like a tool where there's like a spongy thing and then a light at the end. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna see if I can use this, hold it on there, you know, and look at my little spongy thing. It's it's melted. How? I have no idea, but it's, ee, it is melty. So I'm gonna see if I can just use this, sort of push it down and put it in my light. You guys can see, maybe. Yeah, you guys can see sort of what I'm doing, okay. That still has pieces sticking on the outside. It didn't push them down for either, which I'm kind of disappointed with. So let's try with the other method that I was using. These are some stiffer glitters. I just wanna see. <laughs> they don't really bend super well, even at all, but we will try. Those went down a little bit better. This side's okay. I think these glitters are just really, really stiff, so they will be a little bit harder to work with, but let's toss this to a side because it's looking crusty. I think I've decided to go a little bit simpler than I was originally planning, like chunky charms, these charms. So let's just get all these tips on and get that out of the way. I'll just be using this press on gel. Now that I have these on, I just want to see what we have to work with with these. Got a cute heart, lots of hearts actually. That's cute, little bunny. My original plan was to do a jelly on top of this. And I think I'm still feeling a jelly theme. So I have my colors out and we're just going to custom mix the jellies. Cause I don't think I have a full like a rainbow jelly set. So I'm just going to use a top coat to mix my gel. I'm going to use these McCart nail liners because they're pretty opaque and so I only need just like a little bit. They're also very, very bright and that looks perfect. So I'm going to do my thumb, that color. Okay, I love it. Next we'll do blue. Uh, so what I'm realizing looking at this palette now is that it's kind of looking like Easter or spring colors, but that's okay. All of the jelly nails are done. I really like these colors. So I actually had an idea. Now this is going to be based on these charms that I got. They have, you know, the heart with the wings. So I think I'm going to put one heart on the middle finger and then we also have these wings for the others. And I think that'll be really cute. Something like that. I'm going to put some rhinestone gel, just like a nice glob about there. Set that on. And the wings, no. I cannot make up my mind today, I know. A shocker. I had put this charm there, but I just feel like it wasn't quite right with the angel wings, but I didn't want to get rid of the angel wings. So now I'm gonna put this one, which I think will actually match much, much better. And I think actually I'm going to try to use these as charms and I'm just going to top coat them to make sure they are shiny. So I'm gonna put a layer of just like some rhinestone glue and smooth that out. I know, I cannot make up my mind today. What else is new? Then I am going to put a layer of top coat. 
and I'm going to try to pick the prettiest ones out of here because some of these clay ones can have a little bit of a funky shape. And we'll do this nail the same. I'm gonna put a little bit of a thinner layer of the rhinestone gel just because if you move those clay pieces around it all, it starts to create a little bit of a trail since the rhinestone glue is so thick. I have these on and I'm going to top coat them while they're still sort of loose to fill in any, you can see like ridges in the gel. And here we are for the most part, definitely not uh, quite what I had planned, but what kind of video would it be if my first video back wasn't a complete hot mess? I actually like the little heart and wing design. I think that's cute. I'm excited to play with everything else. I know I'll end up using all of this stuff year round anyway, just because that's my whole vibe. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like as it's my first video back in a while and that would help a ton. I don't foresee any more long major breaks. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.